Welcome back to another security video. Um, I'll just keep repeating this disclaimer, although this isn't really that related to the KLCP. So this tutorial is for educational purposes only. I do not condone any active computer misuse. This video uh, is actually not in alignment. Um, you're actually not allowed to use PowerShell Empire. Okay, so in the last video, we went over stagers and the different ways that you can stage and get a shell from PowerShell Empire. Oh, I'm going to embarrass myself right now if I don't remember the IP. I think it was 8,000. Okay, cool. Yes. So I was able to spin a Python web. Um, server and here I have a payload. I, I in the last video we went over like Visual Basic, there was like XML, there was executables and the bat. I like the bat the most and most tutorials use the batch file. So that's what I've used here. Okay, so we're not going to talk about stages though. We're just going to talk about basics of agents and some commands that you can run. So I've already infected my own machine. So if we type agents you will see this is the agent. So for learning purposes, be very careful about PowerShell. Take a look at the process ID that I have on my Kali Linux machine. Now, if I open my task manager, do you see that the process ID matches? 12728, 12728. Yep, that's the same process ID. So from that payload that I just launched, I was able to get PowerShell to open that way. And now this agent is using that PowerShell ex executable on the victim machine. But you'll notice that I don't have PowerShell open at all, not even down here. So that's a bad sign. If you see PowerShell executable, executable is running in your task manager and you're not using PowerShell, be very careful. So in essence, I guess using PowerShell in a um, lower security environment is it's very dangerous. Okay, so what can we do once we have an agent? Um, some useful commands that you can use is info. Or sorry, uh, I, I need to interact first. Interact, and then you can see the name of the agent here. I really like about PowerShell Empire and PowerShell Server is that you can tab a lot. It just makes it so easy. Um, so not a whole lot of programs are set up that way on Kali Linux. So I really like that. I think it's great. Okay, so now we're interacting with this agent named SENCMP, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so very basics about using agents. Um, particularly, I'm going to go over the shell commands, which you should be able to use like a basic shell. And I'll go over some modules uh, in PowerShell that it uses that actually work. A lot of the modules today, because this program is like six or seven years old, they don't work. So I'll go over the ones that work and the ones I like. Okay, info. So if you run info on your agent, you can just get the basic information. The host name, we're using PowerShell language. Um, you can see the IP address name of the user, the integrity. That's very important. If you have high integrity, you can pretty much have administrative access. If you have low integrity, um, you won't be able to do as much. I tried to bypass UAC and to gain high integrity, but it didn't quite work the way that I wanted it to. So I'm going to skip that. Remember that process ID that we were just talking about? Yep, it's an info too. Okay. So on the victim computer, we're just going to do some basic shell commands. Famous ones that everybody know, like IP, IP config. Okay, so my IP is 1253. Take a look there, we see 1253. Indeed, it does match. Okay, like I said, we're just gonna do some basic shell command. So if I wanted to from the Kali Linux machine, I can run any command from here. It does take a second, especially because I am running this VM on an SD card. So it can be a bit slow. And we can confirm that indeed it is 1253. So let's do a couple more commands and mirror them and see how they work. 
So who am I? Okay, user. So let's do shell. Who am I? Put that process. And then indeed we get user. Pretty cool. So from here, you can run any shell command. You could probably shut down the computer. You could log off the computer. If I do that, then um, the video is over. So I don't want to do that quite yet. Okay. Uh, so that's it for shells and shell commands. Next, I want to talk about some of the PowerShell modules that I like. For instance, we're going to type use module. And as I type that, we get a huge list of different things. If you have C Sharp or .NET installed, you can run these commands on the victim computer, but I don't have that. What else do we see? What kind of modules? There's just so many. It's kind of hard to go through them. If Python's installed, you can use these. Do, 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 do. Uh, and then, of course, PowerShell. But not all of these commands work seven years later. Some do. So I'm going to show you the ones that I like. OK. I've actually already done. Uh, it's called PowerShell underscore collection underscore key logger. So yes, this still works today. You can use PowerShell to track key movements and record what the victim is doing. Oop. I made a boo-boo. No, I spelled PowerShell wrong. That's why. Collection and then key. Yeah. Tab. There we go. I love that you can just tab that out. Um. So when you look at different modules, it'll give you information, maybe who made it, some basic about it. Um, do you need to be admin? Is it safe to run it? Or would you be caught? Will it be audited or something like that? And this command will not. That's pretty wild. Um, you normally would hit execute to run it. I've already done it, so don't want to run it again. Um, when you run multiple key loggers, it gets all weird, uh, as I found out. So on the victim machine, um, I'm just going to like make a bunch of backspaces and spaces so I can clear my log and it doesn't look all messy. OK, if you are knowledgeable with Linux, you can go into the var lib folder and then go into the app itself, PowerShell. And then if you hit server and then downloads and then you find your agent that you made, it'll store all the things here. So let's open the keystrokes that we just ran. OK. And you can see, yeah, I did a bunch of backspaces. So let's test it and see um, what kind of things that it can capture. Coach Mikey was here. We love security. We love her name. Okay. So basic typing on programs will work. If you type in the operating system here, it won't capture it quite the same way. So keep that in mind. They need to be typing on a program. OK, so every time you view that file, it'll ask you to reload. And okay, let's go down. There we go. We love security. We love learning. Coach Mikey was here. Pretty cool, huh? All right, um, and other things that I liked is that you can lock the computer. So in this video, I'll use that module. There's so many modules. Some of them, like I said, are not working. You'll just have to play around and find the ones that you like. And then um, what is it? PowerShell management, PowerShell management. Did I type it wrong? Yeah, I guess I did. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing very well with the typing today. OK, there I found it. So um, I think this one's cool. You can like lock it. You can log off people. You can probably shut down. You can do all kinds of stuff like that. So we're going to lock it and see how long it takes. And pretty quickly, the PowerShell process locked it. Pretty crazy. And now we're back. OK, so that's enough to get you started. 
you can, um, let's get out of here. I think I do back. Yes, back. Um, if you type help, then you'll get, oh, let me make it a little nicer before we end the video. Okay, there we go. Help. Um, you can see all these different commands that we're, that you can use. Potentially, you could just play around with this for a long, long time. You can download files to a victim computer. You can look at the jobs. You can kill processes. You can make a proxy. You can do a man in the middle. Um, I was doing shell because that's very, very useful if you are familiar with CMD and command prompt. Um, okay. Key log is already in there. I made, I did it by my own PowerShell module. Um, Mimi Cats, I really wanted to get to work, but I couldn't. It just kept giving me errors. Um, but that's a cool one. Also, an um, honorable mention, bypass the UAC. You can change your low integrity agent to high integrity agent. Um, it uses an exploit in the computer management module, uh, MMC. Dot exe snap in and then when it launches it doesn't even drop a file and you can elevate and get a privilege escalation anyway there's all kinds of commands so i just did shell and i did um, use module and you can just go through all the different commands in cmd or in the use modules and just play around and have fun so i hope you learned something new today be very careful if you see PowerShell.exe running in your task manager and you're not running it. That might be a problem. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Play around with PowerShell Empire. Have fun, learn, and protect yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.